Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to introduce the share replay operator. This operator is very commonly used when we are doing HTTP requests using RxJS because it solves a very common problem that we will face while building reactive applications. To understand better the problem that this operator solves, let's go back to our program. In the last lesson we have written our first reactive program. We have here this component that is defining here a couple of observables and passing them here to the template where they will be subscribed using the async pipe. This works great and it's a very declarative way of defining our program, but there is only one problem. To better visualize the problem, let's now switch to a larger window and head over here to the network tab of Chrome. We are going to reload the application, which is going to trigger the backend call. So as you can see, we not only have one backend call, but we actually have two. So we have here two duplicate backend calls hitting here slash API slash courses. And this is giving us back the exact same data. So what's going on here? Let's go back to our program. Our program defines two observables and these observables are each subscribed to using the async pipe. So what we have here are two different subscriptions to two different observables that both are derived from the same HTTP observable. The problem is that each subscription that we are doing, one to the beginner's courses and the other to the advanced courses, is going to trigger the execution of a separate HTTP request because each subscription is taking over the blueprint of the stream that we have here, the observable, and it's using it to instantiate a concrete stream of values. So that is why we have two HTTP requests. If, for example, we add here a third subscription, then we should see three occurrences of the HTTP request in the network log. Let's confirm this and make sure that our understanding of what is going on is correct. So we have now just reloaded the application. So if we now switch to this larger window, which has also been reloaded, we can see that we now have here three occurrences of our HTTP request, one per subscription as expected. This is of course problematic. We don't want our application to do multiple HTTP requests to fetch the exact same data again and again from the backend. So how how can we solve this problem? For solving this problem, we are going to be using a new RxJS operator called share replay. Let's see it in action and talk about how it works exactly. So what we want to do here is we want to take this observable here, which is the HTTP observable, and we want to somehow share the execution of this particular stream across multiple subscribers. So we want to avoid the default observable behavior, which is to create a complete new stream by subscription. Instead, we want this stream to be executed only once. And then the result of that stream, we want it to be replayed to each new subscriber. So in order to obtain that behavior, we are going to pipe here a new operator called share replay. Like the name implies, this operator is is going to make sure that our HTTP response is going to be passed on to each new subscription instead of executing again the same HTTP request. To confirm that this is indeed working as we would expect, let's add here some logging to this HTTP execution. Let's log here to the console that the HTTP request was executed. And in order to do that, we are going to introduce here a new operator, which is called tap. Tap is an operator that is meant to be used to produce side effects in our observable chain. So whenever we want to update something outside of the observable chain, such as, for example, updating here a variable at the level of the component, or in this case, to issue a logging statement. So we are going to use this to log to the console the following message, HTTP request executed. So let's now reload our application and see the new behavior that we have here. So just like we were expecting, this time around, we only have here one network call to slash API slash courses. And if we head over here to the console, we're going to see that we only have here one logging statement, HTTP request executed, 
as expected. So we can indeed see in this case, this execution here of this observable is being shared across multiple subscribers. If we now add here again a third subscription by calling subscribe to the courses observable, we are going to see that we still only have here one single HTTP request. So now the application is reloading and we can see here in the console and in the network tab that we still only have one HTTP request, which is exactly the behavior that we are looking for. So as we can see, the share replay operator is absolutely essential in order to handle our HTTP requests as RxJS streams. Now that we have introduced the share replay operator, we have here a good starting point for starting to cover more complex HTTP scenarios, such as combining multiple requests, performing them in parallel, and many more common operators, all of them with their own RxJS operator. And with this, we have covered the share replay operator, which is very commonly needed for handling HTTP requests.